This guide will show you how to automate cupcakes in Plate Up. To make cupcakes, first make cake batter by cracking an egg and combining it with sugar and flour in a mixing bowl. Next, add milk to the batter and pour into a cupcake tray, then bake. On screen, there are three different safety hob designs, starting on the left, a 5x5 design if you only have a basic mixer to use. However, if you are able, I suggest upgrading the basic mixer to a conveyor mixer before buying it, which will, as shown on the top right, allow you to either make the design more compact, or as shown on the bottom right, enable you to add additional things, like a prep station, while keeping the same 5x5 footprint. Safety hobs don't have the fastest cooking speed, so let's look at some danger hob designs. On the left, we have a one-tray danger hob design that manages to fit into the same 4x6 space as the compact safety hob design, but can produce cupcakes at twice the speed of it. However, with only one grabber pulling from the portioner, it can't unload the cooked cupcakes from the tray at full speed. From it pausing, having to wait on the grabber to empty, which delays the next batch of cupcakes from being made. The design on the right solves this problem by having two grabbers to pull from the portioner, so it can unload at full speed, as well as adds a second tray into the cooking loop, so when one tray is unloading, the other can be cooking and ready to take its place. If you can't find a second cupcake tray in the shop or want a cheaper option, you can research a counter into a freezer to duplicate the tray, which also has the benefit of saving a few extra cupcakes for the next day. If the single danger hob two tray design wasn't enough cupcakes for you, here are dual danger hob three tray designs that both fit in five by eight spaces. At this point, the rate you can make the cupcake batter becomes the limiting factor to producing more cupcakes, so you will want to upgrade to using a rapid mixer over a conveyor mixer. I'm not sure how far into overtime you have to go to start requiring this many cupcakes, let me know in the comments if you ever reach that point, and let me wish you congratulations on becoming a better played up player than I am. Of course customers don't just eat plain cupcakes they want flavored ones, so let's go over that next. Each cupcake will need to be flavored separately after being cooked. Depending on your restaurant layout, you may need to teleport your plain cupcakes over to a separate flavoring setup, or you might be able to build it into your cooking setup. Here are some examples of a single flavor setup that produce chocolate cupcakes. Given the rate that chocolate flavoring is produced, having two grabbers pulling off the portioner isn't strictly necessary. Here is an example of a two flavor design producing both coffee and chocolate cupcakes. And finally, an example that can produce all three flavors of cupcakes, coffee, chocolate, and lemon combining both the cooking and flavoring in a compact 6x8 space. You can put the flavoring stations in any order, however if you have lemon flavor, I suggest placing it to be fed last to minimize the time it takes for all three flavors to fill up, or if you are using display stands, pick lemon as the flavor to feature, and then go ahead and feed it first since it is the quickest flavor to make. I hope you found this cupcake automation guide useful. Leave a like on the video if it helped you out, and subscribe if you want to see more played up food automation guides like this one.